Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to be playing one other list that came out of the tournament that took place in Japan. I adjusted the list. It was 240, 246 players, I believe, played in there and this took like 11th place. It is one of the unique decks that came out of it that often happens in those tournaments over there because they have a lot of creative deck building. And what we see here is four copies of Nashi in the main along with kaido as well also i just noticed the lore in the background of tamio yelling from a frame if you don't know the lore tamio is dead in the lore and nashi went to dustmorn to try to find her if you didn't know the lore at all a little trivia for you and that's why that's so relevant here but this is a blue black shell blue black's been pretty popular in standard for a while especially in best of three where this deck originated from but not quite this way. It's been a lot more mid-range using cards like Tidebinder, Fairy Mastermind, Deep Cavern Bat for a while along with the Siren. And using things like Gix or things of that nature to get card value along the way. During Curiosity is one of those cards as well. That shows up quite often in the blue-black kind of mid-range list. But this deck specifically got fancy on us and played Nashi and Kaido. And we'll go over this cards right now. Nashi has Menace. It is a 2-2 for a blue and a black. So it has a little bit of difficulty casting it early just because blue black super early is a little bit hard sometimes. At least in the aggro meta where you have to use maybe an underground river and taking out one damage could decide a lot of things. But whenever this card deals combat damage to a player, you mill that many cards. You may put any number of legendary and or enchantment cards from among them into your hand. If you put no cards, Nashi gets a 1-1. And menace being very important on it it's a very good keyword for some ability like this that does require to make contact with your opponent and things we get to return legendaries planeswalker fieldred enchantment nothing nothing <laughs> or the nowhere to run it's not uh, gonna hit a ton all the time but it is just going to be a creature that grows and when it does hit something we can obviously go through there and use that ability and things like that so that's very cool for us. Outside of that, we get to play Kaido, which is a sick planeswalker that has Ninjutsu on it. One of my favorite mechanics as I play Yoriko in Commander for anybody who plays Commander. But during your turn, as long as Kaido has one or more loyalty counters on him, he's a 3-4 ninja creature with Hexproof. Uh, plus one, you get an emblem with ninjas you control, get a 1-1. One, one. Oftentimes, I personally am not going to be activating that mode a ton. Unless your opponent's really control heavy and you just want to have one creature hit them often. Kaido right, is a good advocate for that. And then we can use the zero surveil to and draw a card for each opponent who lost life this turn. Works pretty conveniently whenever Kaido comes in for a non-blocked creature. That means it's typically going to hit and that's always going to be relevant to draw a card. Then we have minus two tap target creature, put two stun counters on it. And then that shuts that creature down for a while while Kaido continues to hit your opponent. And if you're just plusing Kaido, you'll get to then minus two on that one creature once again. It actually works pretty well against like mono red decks by constantly locking that creature down. Obviously, if they pump it and fling it at you, there's not a whole lot you can do. But with that said, it works pretty well. Other than that, we are just playing a typical blue black shell that is interaction kill things don't let things resolve and then play a shielded if all else fails and then attack with the rest of the reef even at the back end and that there is a sideboard it will be in the link in the description along with a written out list if you just kind of want to copy it directly from there so with that said let's go ahead and dive into the games and see how well we can perform with this deck oh boy i don't know why i'm already groaning <laughs> this is a. Uh me post apex legends grind so i might be raging i have no idea but here we are it's our hand that's a creature that's a creature that's a counter spell we'll keep what do we what do we do Ooh. we got flash creatures this is good enough so uh, we're gonna hopefully run it down with that. We'll see. Yeah. All right, I'm attacking. I'm bonking. It's a noodle bonk time. Right here. All right, I'll pass. I have a flash creature, there's no reason to budge. I think they're calling me out on it. Let's see. 
Will they jam a spell? No, they will not. Will they counter this spell? Most likely. Or they'll kill it with a kill spell. It's one of the two. All right, never mind. I don't know anything about the game I'm currently playing. I'm going to be honest with you, apparently. Um... This one. One of these is significantly worse than the other. That land sucks. <laughs> we have too much. We have too much mana. All right. I don't know what's going on, man. To be honest with you. I'm just going to hold up my counter spell. Call it a day. There's a demo field. There's a temp lockdown. Spell pierce doesn't exist, so we'll counter the lockdown. We'll call it a day. And then we're going to have to... <sighs> Fire off the bat, I guess. We had to find something in their hand that's bad for us. Second lockdown, sunfall, soul petition. Make your move. Three steps ahead. Um, well, temporary lockdown's guaranteed. Sunfall is not, even though it most likely is. We're gonna play this tap lane and we're gonna attack. Ooh, we dodged. Let's go. The exile target non-land permanent exile target artifact jammer creature with power four graded. That's a four four Not that big of a fan of that one. So obviously not going to do that Go to combat here i'll attack Now they have a counter spell one i guess this is an ability so it can't be counted out think right did you do a cast i thought it was i think it's an activated ability and it has hex proof so they can't really target it right now that's the best part about them we got it, bro about to have something could do an emblem but i think we're definitely Definitely surveilling too here, I believe. Our opponents deciding whether or not they want to like plug me. I have no idea. Okay. We got it, dude. Gold picking something? No? Okay. Do this man. Uh wow. Didn't stay hidden for long. So I can deep cavern bat, force them to use their counter spell now, or I can just kind of worry about it next turn. I think both of these cards are good. I get to draw one. Obviously, deep cavern bat maybe not the best thing in the world to just jam into this board. But if they don't remove it, I guess. I guess it just eats a counter spell, right? So like, let's just have it eat the counter spell. I know the only other fear I'm afraid of is like deep cavern bat getting bounced with the soul partition and then they can like temporary lock down the board but then I'm left with the deep cavern bat next turn and it feels like a little weird yeah so I was kind of just we're kind we were kind of hoping that they would do that that's what we wanted that's what we got so sunfall comes up they get a temporary lockdown I get to just do the cool thing here I've trained with the best. Attack. I guess just play this, right? I just get to draw a card as well. Sweet. So that misses a bit. They have temporary lockdown, but it won't do anything here. So I guess we just opt for this. Now I'll activate this here. Um, I'm gonna bend that. I don't think we need that necessarily, but I have a lot of ways to get them dead here. I have the land. I have if any creature survives. I have a planeswalker. There's just like I have a planes creature walker, and this can't get rid of it when it's over here. Soul partition can, but then I can always get it back. 
Then you to return target unblock creature you control to its hand, put this card on the battlefield tap, and it does not say from your hand. So you can then jutsu from anywhere, and this shouldn't be increased by a soul partition. A spell cast by Zona costs two more, and that's not casting it. So weirdly enough, if they temporary lockdown or something. Sure. Enchantment that doesn't go away. Okay. Oh. I bet. I did make sure that that was lethal. I was like, I don't know why, what I was thinking that they might have. But I don't I don't know what they would have. I should have just went to combat. I don't know why I stalled there. But game one down in the books. Very cool. Taking out control, which is kind of weird, but yeah, we'll take it. My opponent goes first. I go second. I ninjutsu on turn three. I fairy mastermind. I get the rest. No way, dude. Not my Kaido. So unfair, man. <laughs> Like it's just like perfectly reasonable. I'm just being I'm just being a goof Oh, we opt for fairy mastermind. We force them to remove stuff on their turn They miss a land drop. So now they're probably full of removal in hand. Maybe a cut down here and Nashi also just gets removed, which is unfortunate At least it'll happen on their turn, I guess All right They hit a land here They have removal here. They do hit a land no. No. Okay. Fair. Um, we remove that with the spell they already knew about. They obviously it comes back tapped, but I will move to combat. I will attack. Actually, has a lot of words on it. I just like don't want to read it to be honest with you. Or flash in this deep camera bat by flash. I mean just play it generically Oh boy, that's a tough one Now two of these cards in hand are not castable one creature has menace. So I guess I get rid of the go for the throat Play a swamp and then we just kind of hope they miss a land Although they have a good chance of hitting lands Oh, they don't go for They don't go for that wild eh, I think Maybe they have a nowhere to run or cut down themselves. I mean, I'll take that. That's fine with me for now. All right. To be fair, at least I'm getting all the bad cards out of the way. All right. So no land for them. I can still go to combat first here, I guess. Sure, man. Sure, man. Let's see. I should have declined, to be honest. Like, these things are weird, right? If they only attack with one, I only remove one. If they attack and hold, it's like this weird, awkward game. If they didn't hit a land, then it's like whatever. I will remove one of these, though. I know I'm going to take a lot of damage here, but I think... I definitely could have just removed it, but I just don't know, man. Yeah, that's kind of what I was afraid of. I don't even know if this works. You keep it a buck. I guess that's a creature that counts. Put it in play. 
we have like the nowhere to run so we have a play the point oh they don't even go to they don't even go to combat they already skipped combat man that was fast okay sweet so that tells me they also didn't have anything because they didn't realize that nashi had menace there you can see the little the little symbol down there but nashi has menace so like holding two blockers back means at least one of these four four power creatures will make contact the missing alliance obviously really good for us but we'll take it we have first hmm sure this has got to be one of the hands where Kaido seems the worst in my opinion just because like I don't do I really want to replace the deep cavern bat I could it kind of depends I guess it could be a lot of things like I'm not even I don't even put them on dock anymore most of the time I guess we take the only creature seems like a good idea to me now they might cast this to draw a card is what they're looking to do i think maybe they'll find another creature maybe i will find a way to uh interact with said creature maybe Ooh. a shock gamer huh i'm gonna play slasher because slasher is so threatening and if they hard cast a slick shot sure you know I can't kill that one. Well, they do find a land. Now Slickshot can just come in and do its thing. Maybe if I can find a cut down or something. Like, I... Don't even pretend like you're blocking, bro. Well, they commit some amount to do damage, and they probably should. Because if we're in this, like, weird race, they definitely want to do damage while they can. All right, well, that's a flyer, so I'm not that opposed. Play here. At least getting a little bit more toughness. Sure. And I have this to counter a spell. Not everything, but a spell. So as long as we can make sure they can't fling it at me or I'm not dead, well, four mana is going to make that way harder. There's just so much. Obviously, we'll throw a block here. So, like, we're going to put our life total at 16. Monster's Ray's not near as good as it could be. Yeah, so, like, as we see already, not the best pump spell of all time. All right, we actually hope they have a fling here. Sweet. So we get out of that, which is really nice. This comes in. Now we just go for this onto this. And with one card in hand, if they beat me, they beat me is kind of where I'm at. They're at three. I have lethal on board. I don't even know what two cards could do it, but they could. Ah, uh, yep, yeah, that's not gonna do it. We'll attack, and the lose life trigger will happen, and we take them out. So thankfully, we get there against red. Looks a little bit bleak there. Four mana. If they just had spells, like there's not really a great way I can get around it. I basically have to hope they go for the cell sword fling plan and they do and we come away with the win All right, we go first. This hand's really solid. We'll keep We'll play the old siren like we know It'll kind of depend on the matchup whatever we end up firing off here Whether we need to hold up this counter spell or the deep cavern bat simic land Siren himself. I would have to assume this is something like simic cookies or something all right, with a Kaido draw, I guess I can like hold up the counter spell or I can just go for deep cavern bat. I like deep cavern bat here. 
Yeah, so what is this? And this is a cast spell choose creature you control and reveal a creature card from your hand. It deals damage equal to the powers the creature choose. Obviously, a lot of this is good, but I'll take their only two mana spell, I guess. Then we'll just run down this 1 1 if they want to block, then so be it, but I doubt it. And then there we can find some kind of value. We can perma stun a creature, especially something that they put this on. We'll see. They're not too far behind because they obviously get to play this vine stock down if they don't have a two mana spell. So it's whatever. No activating the map here. Wow, really? I go. I'm gonna. Hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and fire this off. Move this thing. I'm gonna go to combat attack. And I think the play is gonna be land play the glyph on the map, and then which I will put in a Kaido and then like lock that thing down. Oh, it's a wormlet instead. And a tough cookie. Nice draws, I guess. My bad, brother. I didn't realize you had it like that. And it was a 3-4. I guess the hard card for them to deal with is like an unstoppable slasher, I suppose. Because of the death touch, so we're just gonna keep getting in there. Like death touch and just coming back to our hand and everything. I know I keep tapping out with this counter spell in hand, but I'm not gonna lie, I didn't realize they were gonna have wormlet in a tough cookie. I thought I was gonna have to deal with one of these that I'd be able to answer. Sure. This is the only attack. They attack with the wormlet. I mean Okay. So this guarantee hits, by the way. If you were unsure. And weird to see them do the tough cookie like this on this when they have a tough cookie to bring up the food. Maybe a little bit of a punt there. Do this. We'll throw this down. Get this in. Kaido will hit. Um, now Kaido has a chance to do something, and I'll just go ahead and put two stun counters on that, so it's like never really a threat of any kind. And I'll place one one that's most likely going to jump in front of the two two. Unless they obviously can remove it, they can play something like this, but that seems like bad value, really. Or is, is this permanent? Choose up to one target artifact or creature. Okay. I mean, I guess I lose my Kaido that way. Good face here and there. Yeah. Sure. I feel like the Kaido is a problem here, but maybe I'm wrong. Um. Here. Need it for this or that? For the combat, I guess. Do I surveil to and then draw? I think the answer is yes. My eyes are as sharp as my yeah, I think those are pretty good cards to kind of have back to back, huh? Now I'll play a Nashi, and then I'll use this counter spell most likely to stop something from happening. Obviously, they know about cut down. A slasher will come untapped here. So we're just going to counter whatever they throw in the stack here, as long as it's uh, worth it. All right, so we throw this counter spell up, counter unless you pay to. No pirate on a cavern or something like that, which sometimes they'll have or like So these are resolving against like a control deck. They just attack with that. I could block But I think the answer is not to because they only have one blocker on the back end so And we know what they have to block So we'll activate here we'll target this Okay. Oh, wait, can I just do it with the land? 
Yeah, I think it's, it's really close anyway. They have to block the slasher. I'll mill them, I suppose. And then they let the slasher hit, yeah. The slasher is the only one you could have not let hit. The slasher is going to take him down by one here. Thanks, Arena. I really, I'm really glad we got the spyglass siren out of the way. <laughs> oh man, that's funny. But yeah. Okay, I got flashbang by that. But yeah, they had to block here. It would have been four, six. Oh wait, I guess it was just lethal regardless. Never mind. Dude, I'm so dumb. It's insane how dumb I am right now. I'm winning games and I'm not even... I'm done. Whatever, bro. <laughs> Play the Verge and then we'll unlock it next turn with a Swamp. I say unlock just as kind of a casual term. We have one removal spell in hand, which they'll obviously be taking most likely. Um, the nowhere to run makes sense. I could see them taking the Kaido or something. Maybe they don't want us to use it, but then we just... Okay, but we will pass. I have flash creatures. Don't really care that much. They play like a Gix. We get rid of it. We'll just take this one damage. I'm not that concerned. Will you cast a spell? Kind of hope they do. Then we can answer it or something. They go for a preacher. Okay. Play the mastermind here. Um, we'll play land. Now we have like this weird option where we can now know where to run the preacher and then cut it down, I guess. It doesn't make me feel the best, but I think it's what we have to do. Because preacher alone is probably good enough to beat us. I was like, what happened? I I felt like I clicked that right. Full attack in case they do anything like draw another card. It's one of the reasons that I wanted to leave the preacher almost. But realistically, if I'm not like playing a Kaido or something, I guess I could have stunned it down. Kaido would have stuck it to loyalty. That probably would have been better, right? Because then I have the Kaido in play and they have to answer it. Yeah, for some reason I keep thinking this has three loyalty and the tap down or two stun counters was going to be whatever. But yeah, we could have just locked that down. That's probably a better play. Instead of using like two resources there. Where I could then cut down this and then like I have plenty of time uh just it has to be that not nashy nashy yeah I mean we have to keep the kaido I think I go combat no looks to even block here sure uh we'll play land I will move to combat I will attack And if they remove it, we obviously cut down their deep cavern bat. Or I just play Kaido hard cast. Which is definitely an option. Yeah, I'll just I'll just play Kaido here. And then I can put I can tap it for two, I can surveil two, and then opponent who lost life is turn, which doesn't really give me anything. But I can definitely manipulate the top of my library a bit. Hmm. Um graveyard. For long. I guess. Even the siren's fine. Not like pumped about the siren, but it is a thing I can do. Now they have that bitter triumph for Kaido. The one damage obviously not going to get it done. Maybe they have the bitter triumph or a way to make me sack a planeswalker. It could also play Shieldred's Edict. We can answer a Kaido. Attacking it clearly means that they don't have the answer. Let's say you have like a nice counter's effect, which is definitely possible. For the Preacher. Okay. Um, we'll put two stun counters on this because I want to attack. I have game actions to take, brother. I'm in there. Now we'll play a spyglass siren. It'll enter. We'll do this. I understand. Game. The blue mana. You don't, you don't want it up. You're scared of it. But now we leave nowhere to run on top. I have a cut down. Another preacher would be awful to deal with. Deep Cavern Bat's going to get answered here. Shieldred, that is tough. Oh, man. 
now I have to like let Kaido go here, I think. Oh, do I? You get, you let me out? Sure. Yes. That's absurd. I don't, I don't believe that is the play at all. Um, nowhere to run here. This one. Cut down on that one. And then it's just a, uh, in there. Do this one. Information is its own. Leave one on top and draw it. Uh, Cause I assume Arkaido's dying here. Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all, team. Team, we're we're in trouble. Um, and the Akalzots is so good. That you didn't expect to see me. Sit down. We think. Attack, I guess. Thought Kaido was going to be good, and they played Naklazos. We're just slowly getting out grinded. Our nowhere to runs that are really catered for the meta are actually. It's costing us a bit. Quite a bit, to be honest. I guess maybe I could have left the Siren back to block the Preacher, but it's where we are so dead in this match. Those who get in yeah, I'm just. I'm moving on. Go first. Their hand's a little wild, but we'll keep. We know how we know how popular aggro is now that I have these in my opener will we see an aggro deck most likely not but we'll try we'll try our best play land we'll turn it online with the island next turn okay maybe it is red oh look at this gay team fast I have counter spell up flying of course a guy in there I was on you, not me. You're in there. I just like doing it now because if I wait and this resolves and they put something else, I'm still going to take like a chunk of damage. And I'd prefer to take none if I get to the option to do that. Now, ooh, and that also doesn't come through. Okay. I thought maybe they would exert like a spell to maybe make a 2-2 two -two post that. Turn, but now we just hold up our counter spell we just be we just be about as annoying as we possibly can be and our opponent decided that nowhere to run because we interacted with them was enough to win like just like that very cool island will siren i always like want to play the siren first that could be wrong maybe we're supposed to play this down i think if i had two mana oh, i'm gonna throw up if I had two mana, I would have probably just played the reef just to be a little bit slower. Maybe activate this map. I'm not going to do it now because we have removal plus fairy mastermind. So I think there's no reason to. Especially because like as much as we know, they probably have removal. I'm not going to counter that. There's no point. Um, unstoppable slasher. Not a problem right now. I think maybe there's a Bronco. Ass. Sweet. We'll play the mastermind. And it'll die. <laughs> no, dude, our opponent. They're they're on top of it, man. We'll play tap land. We'll call it a day. We'll pass. I have a counter spell up still. We're gonna hit this unstoppable slasher they put on the stack. Oh my! Tell me if I don't know the format. <laughs> it's just a weird thing. Sometimes. Well, for me, I guess I'll I'll play a slasher too. I'll activate this in a land untapped a bat untapped <laughs> Now it's a three four so cut down can't kill it. They have to oh wait. Oh, no, it's a mistake. Oh, I did it I thought it'd been funny if somebody else did it. I messed up Um team Team and my unstoppable slasher dies. It's gone because it has a counter on it <laughs> Let's go take what? That one. Then we're just going to be aggressive with it. 
I'm in there. Down eight. We draw a land. It's a good draw because of this. Ooh, a draw like that, huh? I get it. I guess that I have to say, I guess that card had to suck. Yeah, so we got away with something there. I don't think our opponent realized unless they didn't have to go for their available or even with the hostile investigator or whatever. So whenever this uh whenever the stoppable dies, if it had no counters on it, return it. It does not care what counters are put onto it. I didn't even think about it when I activated it. I was like, oh yeah, I got mana activate the map. Sure. Like hopefully I hit a land and work perfectly with the restless reef and everything. And it's like, no, put a counter on it. And I was like, oh no, <laughs> our advantage in the matchup might've just died right then and there because this would have gone away forever. <laughs> uh, sure. Oh. Okay, man. It's okay, man. You didn't have to do that. My unstoppable slasher didn't do nothing to you. I understand those blue red players are hurt you. I understand. You have to stop them at all costs. But you didn't have to stop me. I'm just trying to be a good boy. I'm just trying to be a good lad out here. Do I deep cavern bat them or do I just bury mastermind? I think I mastermind. Or I kill their mastermind. Look, they're confused. They're like, this ley line sucks. My opponent ain't playing into it at all. All right, counter this. Oh, it's stuck. Sweet. Not bad. In there. In there. You have a tide binder? Please don't have a tide binder. Yeah. No edict. I love a dramatic. I'm just naming every card that can answer this. Let's do this. Obviously, we're going to try to draw cards. We definitely need lands here. Um, got you beat six different ways. Does the nowhere to run matter? Maybe? I'm going to draw this. I don't think that matters as much. Oh, no! Eric, sure. Maybe the go for the throat won't necessarily be good here. Who knows? I guess Fairy Mastermind also makes it tough on him, huh? Could hit me with a nowhere to run. Let's, let's, let's do the bat here. See if they have anything. I can always tap down the tracker. That's like the other kind of counter to this. Is the tracker can always be tapped and then I can still be aggressive here. Okay. Is that on deep cavern bat or what? Yes. Okay. Deadly cover up. Weird. Weird card to have, I think. Too bad I'm not going to be able to play the mastermind because then that kind of stops him from doing all that they want to do um, with like playing this drawing an extra card the mastermind is just really devastating in that spot now they can obviously play it to bring that out and do all that nonsense you need to do sure that makes sense they'll take a draw but now I know that interactions not there so that's pretty nice Fire this off. Okay. Combat. Sure. Fine. I hate that this thing's drawing so much, but I don't feel like I can truly stop it. I have cards I want to play here, but I still want to surveil and see if I can't keep finding my lands. My eyes are as sharp as my sword. Play the land here. 
I'll pass, I guess. The plan. Kind of like baiting them maybe to use their land, but we don't really have interaction. Play this. Problem is they can use the nowhere immediately. Okay. They give us a draw by accident. It's already there. I'm already drawing. They mess it up a little bit, which is like obviously not their intent, but a little tough. Cut down pretty huge here. Now, obviously, I could get rid of this, but we already decided they could draw as many cards as they want. I don't know. We said they could draw every card if they would like. Why is the hexproof symbol not there anymore? Interesting. I'll attack. Right in there. We'll play this. I could always deep cavern bat, but I'm not that worried about it play here and then we'll pass and then honestly if they go for something like a deadly cover-up uh, another nowhere to run okay uh. stop the card draw for now I could stop the removal we'll stop the card draw I feel like I've played this game that well. I haven't played any games tonight that well. A little tough. Okay. Obviously, if Tracker attacks me, I'm like fine with it. Oh, they can have so much removal here. Bring this up. I'm pretty sure Kaido has hexproof. I have no idea. I haven't figured it out yet. on this thing going everything we can dude and I don't know take a break will ya uh, I probably could have activated the map I guess man I guess I'll target you I don't know I can I can put cards in my exile I suppose bad luck What they have bounce spell Oh yeah, 
Uh, it's gone because of nowhere to run. Duh. Like, why did I... Whatever, dude. I just, I'm like, what? Why is this not happening? Like, what's going on? Or I guess... I don't know why I was like, dude, why is this on... Why is this target... I, dude, I need to go to bed. I need to get off this client. Where we at, bro? Okay. Cavern bet. I could have brought up the land, but I feel like they have some amount of removal, so I'm just kind of waiting. Sure. Alright. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna fast tread this one. I'll just do that. That seems good. Seems great. Good surveil. That's fine. That's fine. Hit old Shelly. Yeah! Oh man, I have to get off the client, dude. I'm playing. As soon as I make a play and I convince myself a play is good, I immediately think of something else. I go, wow, wouldn't that have been just like 10 times better? I understand not playing perfectly every single time or even playing well. I'm not saying that I ever really play perfectly, I guess. But like, just noticeably, like noticeably noticing that I'm messing up is just like, <sighs> so annoying sometimes, but it's just like using new cards and whatnot. It's just kind of hard to figure it out, I guess. All right, so here we are. We're playing the the seven two list that also did well in Japan. This is a very cool deck list, and Kaido is actually proven to be very good. I like playing Kaido. I actually own like a play set of this card in paper. I got it pretty immediately whenever I was opening pre release kits, and I got lucky and opened a couple and other people open a few so i was able to get them i thought this card was super sweet i play yoriko and commander so getting a copy for that was pretty sick as well but yeah, kind of just being dope especially whenever you start off the siren or deep cavern bat on two or maybe even a mastermind things like that and then we get to use the good cards like nowhere to run things like that and here's an entire sideboard if you want to use it if you would like but outside of that that's gonna be all for me i don't really have a whole lot more to say outside of what we've probably shown in playing and if you definitely want to try the deck feel free i will say the only downside with this one in comparison to some of the decks that i've been talking about recently in the past is there's some uh there's some expense to this one that's for sure there's a lot of rares just equally like across the board rares to common or uncommons and then that's not even counting the lands. And if you play best three, it's not counting the sideboard, which seems to have quite a bit in it. In Urtai and Aklazos and Gix and the Ghost Vacuum. And one of the hard parts to justify your rares on is a card like Kaido and Nashi because it's just immediately kind of like, well, is this card playable anywhere else? And you're kind of like, ah, not entirely sure. So who really knows? But outside of that, I guess it's a mythic. I can go over there. Rare rent. Yeah. So with that said, I hope you all enjoyed regardless, even though I do think at the end I was playing a little bad, but uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Watching, goodbye.